As we saw yesterday, navigation played a huge role in the Archipelago Raid Championships. We are here to talk with a team about how they try to avoid the rocks of the archipelago. So what tools do you use to uh, don't cut your daggerboard short? Well, we rely mostly on uh, this Garmin that I have on my vest folding down. And I concentrate a lot on looking at where those stones are that we cannot see visibly. Um, and hope that that's enough because uh, Jens uh, focusing on where we have to go. What do you use the paper chart for? Well, uh, we haven't actually been in most part of the archipelago, so it's really nice to get a full overview of roughly where we're going, to mentally get a picture of is it a big island, a small, where are the rocks, are we going on the inside, outside of the trip today. So uh, we take a discussion about the route on the big map and then we use the actual Garmin when we're on the water. Concluded a fourth and very exciting leg of the F-18 Raid World Championships. We have arrived in Sandham and I am here with the young up-and-comers who are on a good trend in the regatta. How was that? It was amazing. We had our best uh, race in the regatta so far and uh, we had a really nice trend, you know, better every race. So uh, hopefully we can keep this up and uh, beat them smacker tomorrow. So for climbing even higher tomorrow, what's the what's the plan? What's the secret sauce? Yeah, so uh, I think boat speed wise we're improving, and that's a key ingredient. But uh, also you have to take some uh, take some risks because there are lots of navigational uh, options. So uh, if we're gonna be super fast tomorrow, we've gotta take more risks. Okay, we will see how that uh, risk taking works out tomorrow. Maybe we'll see you with shorter dagger boards. Stay tuned and find out.